Tom Platt said this is like bodybuilding is more mental than physical at the upper end because you need the ability to push yourself past the point that you exhibited before. You have to also mentally connect to the muscles and will yourself to grow. Every rep you have to be concentrated in. You have to get the most juice out of the squeeze. When you're doing the bicep curl, look at your bicep. Imagine that there were more muscle cells forming at the edges of the muscle that you see with each rep. Visualize that and feel that. Look at what angle your arm is coming up at, what angle your bicep feels like it wants to flex at, you know, that's gonna elicit the most pump. That's gonna elicit the most muscular contraction, awaken the, the muscle cells within. That you may have, but you're not really connecting to that well. It's that mental connection that will bring muscle gain alone. The more you focus, the more energy goes into the workout. As you get more developed into it, you have to realize that it's not just about four times eight of a bench press and then I do my four times 12 of this. It's going in, pushing your body to the limits, your new limits, thinking about every exercise. You know, you, you can do a barbell curl but if you're not engaged with it your delts will be doing most of the work like think i'm doing a barbell curl i want to develop my biceps here how can i best do that can think about the biceps doing the work not the shoulders now, obviously the shoulders will to some degree especially if you're going heavier but if you're not like if you're just curling the bar without mentally connecting to the muscle groups you want to work then you're just going to end up wasting a bit of time or not getting as much out of each rep. So you really have to be there, focused, engaged, high energy. Your energy, of course, will fluctuate day to day, but as much as possible, when you're in the gym, if you have wireless headphones, great, put a playlist on, but then leave your phone in your locker or, or nearby and you don't touch it for the 45 minutes that you're in there because your phone will be there after. You can catch up to all the other stuff. You're in the gym. Be in the gym. Don't watch the TV in between sets. Every set, think, how did that go? How do my muscles feel? Maybe do a bit of just body weight flexing or contractions to really push more blood into the muscle. You know, contractions in between each set really, really help pump. Um, so try that as well. Balls to the wall training. Really, you know, pushing your mental what's the me um, Arnold said this as well is loosely I think not an exact quote but the champion is the one that can go through the most mental pain and endure the most pain in bodybuilding when your muscles want to stop because they're burning the lactic acid build up you can just as easily mentally force yourself through another few reps which are going to elicit new growth but if you just stopped and not got those extra three reps, then the workout's not as good. When you're at those upper levels and you really need to be pushing your body to, to get those, you know, you have to earn the muscle cells that you create. Newbie gains come pretty quickly at first, but the, the longer and longer you train, the slower it comes. It's not impossible. I think people like neg about how much muscle they can build. I think everyone, as long as they're supporting their body with what it needs, can give themselves the, the best chance of putting on the most muscle. And as long as you're training for the rest of your life, you're always going to be improving. So even, let's say your genetic cap, which is pointless to worry about because, okay, you have your genetics, you can't change them. Let's do the best you can with your genetics. It's not, oh, I think I have bad genetics. And the other thing, if you think you have bad genetics, then your body is going to respond in turn. Oh, I'll never be able to grow as much muscle. If you think that every day, do you think that's gonna result in more muscle? Is that gonna give you the best chance? No, again, affirmations. I am a high test male. I put on muscle effortlessly. Everything I eat lowers my body fat and promotes hypertrophy. Those kinds of emotion, uh, affirmations, even though they seem silly, 
they overwrite bullshit things like, oh, my genetics are bad. I'll never put on muscle. Like those, again, going back to the point, they're pointless. If you can't change it, there's no point wasting emotional energy on it. Your genetics are your genetics. Let's do the best you can. Let's support our testosterone as much as possible. Let's make sure we're getting enough recovery. Uh, all of those things, anyone can build a body that, uh, you know, an amazing physique doing that stuff. It's just, you may think you have low test, but you're consuming seed oils all the time, which is super inflammatory. Your body fat is super high. You never get sun. You, ne you don't get enough zinc. You're not eating enough meat, enough quality fats. You're not getting enough vitamin D. Like those things all contribute to your natural potential of, of, of bodybuilding. You're not getting enough sleep. Massive one. People don't know how to sleep. This Everyone's sleep is fucked up. That's like, that literally lowers your body fat and gives you muscle. If you did nothing else, if you just fix your sleep so there's there's lots of things that people aren't doing and living unhealthily in general alcohol uh, that will lower your maximum natural genetic potential to put on muscle and that's all changeable so you know don't doom it never helps anyone